Man, this looks good. I don't know if y'all was over on the other page. I just got to show you this. Oh, my God. It looks so good. Mm. Come on, come on. Yeah. I want all that liquid cooked out. Out, out, out. I probably could switch those back up now that I'm getting ready to do my cauliflower. Mm. Cooking is my happy place. Baby, come on through over here. Portabella, baby Bellas. Oh, damn it, Jim. I don't have my cauliflower. It's hard to do something if you ain't got it. All right, I'm back. A little cauliflower. Fried cauliflower to go on the soul bowl. I was going to do chick of the wood, hen of the wood. Uh, mushrooms for the soul bowl. But... Broccoli mimics chicken just as well, right? Nice seasoned and fried. So I said, why not? Yes, can y'all hear sizzling? Oh, damn it. Nope, everything goes good. Can you? I'm just gonna eat that one. Oh. It's two for me to eat. Boom. Ah, oh, I'm complete with that. Now, if I was at home, I would save this for soup. But I am not going to save these scraps and take it home. And even if I did, you know what I would do with it? Yep, you guessed it. Probably throw it away. This is not my favorite vegetable to cut. I usually just, boom, cut that puppy in half. Cut that in half and call it a day. Day. So I'm just going to take that part out. I'm going to cut. You see all that? Oh, shoot. Hi. Hi, I'm sure I'm having an instructional line. You can't even see it. So I'm getting ready to cut all that out. Let's see. Let's get you. So you can see it. Can you see that? gonna break that apart this is trash and then I'm just gonna break these apart depending on what I want to do with my broccoli my broccoli hey. cauliflower will depend on the size right so I'm just gonna do the same thing with this one put it on my cutting board Make two little incisions on each side, there, and there, right where they connect, and then I'm just going to pull that off. Boom! The little pieces I will test. Because I haven't eaten, I did eat some greens, them greens, baby! I can't even tell my greens are vegan, okay? You can't even tell. I still got the beans on because they were not where I wanted those to be. We're going to do that over there. And that over there. So I'm going to pop these in the fryer because that's going to be super easy. In the oil, brother. And once I pop those in the oil, I wonder if I'm public. Am I public? Um, once I pop it in the oil, then boom, I'm ready. It'll be ready. It won't take long. So I want to get, I want to split those up. 
I am doing it gently because I want to keep them. I want to keep some nice sizes for my for my chicken. My chicken. Like this one, you see that? I'm just gonna pop that apart. This one is kind of big, but you see where I sliced it? That's where I sliced it in half. We're gonna pull this one apart. Boom! I'm loving it. I'm loving it. All right, so I'm getting ready for my client, my friend. I'm getting ready for an order to be picked up. Two, three, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. All right, so I got 14 going on there that I'm going to keep for to go on the soul bowl. And then I have, let me stir these beans now that I'm thinking about it. Mmm. Come on through pinto beans. Come on through pinto beans. Come on through greens. These greens are just like you sure you cooked them Chanel. You sure ain't no meat in them? I'm positive there's no meat in them. So I'm just gonna switch these out. What is with all this? It must have been something on the bottom of this pan. Because every time I take it off the induction burner, it has some stuff going on. So I'm gonna get all my stuff together. Oh, what am I gonna do? Oh, perfect. Darn it, I forgot my cornstarch. That's my new thing. Oh. That cornstarch is gonna give you that crunchiness that you want on your fried stuff. I am so happy that I found it. I didn't find it. That I finally started. Um, using it. You know what I mean? That I finally started um, using it. So I'm just going to use one with just regular flour. Now, if you want to know, if you want to take a little notes, what I usually do is one cup of flour, one cup of cornstarch, and a half a cup of um, what'd you call that? Breadcrumbs. And I like panko, but I think everybody likes panko, right? Because panko does what it's supposed to do. Panko is that, the crunchy, um, those crispy breadcrumbs. Y'all know where I got it from, low ass. And y'all know I eyeball everything, right? Okay, so, it's no, well, not everything. Well, when I'm cooking for myself, I do eyeball stuff, but. And then, just another little texture. I'm gonna put some for the colors. And I'm just gonna mix that up. Because I want to incorporate it. And then I'm just gonna mix up the seasoned one. Now, the person is coming to grab the, um, hey boo! Um, the person that's coming to grab the first order is not vegan. So I am going to do egg and milk, a little batter. You know, egg wash. I think we talked about this before. I think we talked about this before, did we not? We talked about the whole egg wash and three things. So we'll, I'll show you in a minute. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of egg and a little bit of milk we're gonna whisk those two together and bam and bam bam bam
and some milk. Now, if you want to do a little bit of a little bit more, you can always throw a couple dashes. Because when I'm when I'm doing chicken, I like to add a couple dashes of a uh, hot sauce to this part of it. Ooh. Look at me, I'm nosy. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, there was a wine key here. I could have bought me another wine. But whisking it up. And I'm going to see if it's ready by popping a little water over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that down. <laughs> I am going to turn that down. It is 2.41. I feel kind of good. I just got here at 2 o'clock. I'm here at the D-Loft Cafe at 13710 West Nine Mile Road. Just waiting for you guys. Now, this is what I hate. That's why I like to put a bunch of, not a bunch, but just make sure that I can see the seasoning so I don't know which one is supposed to go in. So... Do you guys ever do that three, the three, uh, the three method, right? Three, uh, container method. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to let this grease, you know what? I'm just going to do mine. I will do... I will do um, mine first so I can get everything so the temperature can come down because that's what's going to happen when I put it in there. It's just going to get, it's going to get toasty quick. So I'm going to drop these couple pieces in there. Now you can do it twice because sometimes it, if it's not coated enough for me, I'll do it twice. Which means I'll do this three-step method two times, right? So see how coated it is? Shake it off. And always use one hand for wet and one hand for dry. And if you don't believe me, you just go ahead and not do it and then you'll figure out why I said that. Because your hands will be just... Because once it goes into the wet and then back into the dry is going to look crazy it's going to be stuck together I just dropped those in there All right so for the vegan method I would use an egg substitute or just mix up uh, whisk up some Water and chia seeds. Water and chia seeds work just, it's a good egg substitute when you're doing something like this. Right? Ooh wee. So now I have it in here. Boom. Oh yeah, it came down a lot. <laughs> And I'm going to shake all this off. I'm so geeked, y'all. It took me a little bit longer today because I had a huge menu. But I always have a huge menu. You know I don't do nothing simple. Man, I wish y'all could see that it immediately is getting brown. I'm going to take this glove off. Alright, y'all know it's been down there all of 2.2 seconds. I'm going to set that one over there. Well, let's see what it do. And then this one is even more brown. I'm going to leave it on the three. And that's why I didn't use the French fry flyer. Flyer. Golly. The French fry. Fryer. 
I want to get the I want to get it all coated with the flour so then when I drop it in the egg hey boo cauliflower did you see it fried cauliflower fried cauliflower Ooh! I'm gonna dip it in some maple vinaigrette y'all know I put maple vinaigrette on everything the only thing I'm mad about I need another glove the only thing I'm mad about is I don't have any hot sauce in here no sriracha, no hot sauce. Because I would definitely mix those two together. So I said no Wing Wednesday. Maybe I lied. Maybe Wing Wednesday will be cauliflower wings. Most of my sauces are vegan. If they're not vegan, of course they're vegetarian. At the very least. So I'm just going to... I'm just getting the excess... But I got to make sure, you want to make sure that the egg is coating all of it, right? Because you want to, you want it to, you want the breadcrumbs to stick to, to all of it, right? Because you want to get that crunchy coating like it was fried chicken. You want that crunchiness. You don't want it to. Damn, three is on fire, okay? On this little induction burner. Well, I'm talking about what I can and can't do with this cafe, baby. Ooh, three. I feel like it's burning the oil, which makes it darker quicker. And then I got all the breadcrumbs and flour and all that drops off. Alright. Do y'all do what you love? I'm always asking that because whenever I'm on live, whenever I'm with you guys. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. But uh and it still has the bite to it, y'all. Oh my god. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. This came out freaking great. I'm happy. I am happy. Guys, I am so excited. Boom. Fried cauliflower. Easy breezy. Did y'all see me drop it down? You saw me drop it down like boom, 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 boom. Boom, done. Easy breezy cover girl. Easy breezy cover girl. I am so, man, I love it. Okay. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. I am absolutely with it. I'm going to take some pictures when I start putting everything together. The paella is done. I am still... These damn beans are trying to give me a hard time. And they were the very first thing I put on this morning. Were they? Yeah. Yeah. But, see, that's why I should have cooked them last night. But, I do have... My greens are just fire. My greens are fire. Fire, fire. I'm trying to find something to put them in. A little container or something so you guys can see. So you guys wait. I hate that burn smell. That, uh. Yeah, I don't like that. I hate that smell. That's coming, it's coming from the, um, that flower. 
the flowers. So I'm at the D Log Cafe. 13710 West Nine Mile Road in Oak Park, Michigan. I'm right next to, I'm right between the Nail Salon and Happy's Pizza. We're on Nine Mile. Right at Nine and Coolidge. Right at Nine and Coolidge. So let me think of what I'm going to eat. I made some cauliflower with some maple vinaigrette. Labels are on their way, y'all. Labels are on their way. Labels are definitely on their way. So I'm going to make me a little maple vinaigrette. So I can dip my cauliflower in. But I think I'm going to also make sure that there is a sample for, oh damn, I still need to do salmon. I thought I was done. I'm not. But I am going to go grab me something that make me something to eat. I forgot I still need to fillet the salmon. I can talk to y'all while I do that. Would you all like to kick it with me while I fillet salmon? Uh, so this eight ounce bottle, I shouldn't even tell y'all this, but this eight ounce bottle just gave me 10, 10, Two ounce containers of maple vinaigrette. You know what that means? That I have 10 ounces instead of eight in my bottles that I have packaged. What the, what the flim flam flam? Uh oh. So I still need to fillet the salmon. You guys wanna stick around while I fillet salmon? Why not? What y'all doing? Y'all ain't doing nothing. You can hang out with me for a minute. So, just in case if you all were wondering, I'm just looking for something to put my, my cauliflower in that I didn't use, right? That I gotta cook in a minute. And then I'm definitely gonna need a little sippy sip sip of wine. This will take me not long. This is kind of quick. Easy, breezy, and quick. I just need to take the skin off and then portion the salmon. And cook one more piece. And the rest is going to get wrapped up. You guys want to watch? Alright, let's see. I usually start from this end. Cause I don't want this on my I'm wasting gloves. I hate wasting gloves. I feel like I'm wasting gloves. I don't know. I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. See, can you? How's that? How's that angle? Ooh, I got a lot. How's that angle? Let's bring it up a little bit. Ooh, better. I like that one. All right. Skin on 
and I'm just gonna so you see this part right here let's go up here see right here that's the the uh, the skinnier part right so I'm gonna start there so instead of trying to start all the way at the edge which is I've done that before and then chef showed me a little a little uh, trick so I'm gonna bring it close to me and I guide it you know depends on your knife depends on your skill set all of that but I guide it so I'm just gonna do a little bit of I'm going down at an angle can you see that I'm going down at an angle all the way down till I can see where the skin is because I'm looking at this right here right I'm looking at that part so I'm just gonna lift that up I like to hold once I get it I like to get it as flat as I can and I know I can feel it hitting that that there's no that there's very little space between the skin and my blade so I just have it like that and I hold it and I just ease it down right I go back and forth if you have a super duper 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 sharp chef knife and it's long enough then you can just See that? See how it's coming apart from it? But yeah, I mean, it takes practice. It takes patience. So I'm almost kind of like pulling it. I'm pulling it with this hand because I'm holding this, right? And then I'm having the knife do the rest of the work. But I want to do it slow because I don't want to, once I get up to the fat part, right? I don't want to lose a lot of my meat. I don't want to lose a lot of the flesh. So I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. You see it? Can you see? I'm still holding it. Pulling, slicing. Just a little bit. But you want to hold it flat, right? I'm still. <laughs> I don't want those scales in there. All right, boom, boom. Boom! And I don't have that much left on there. Eh. Right? Discard. So when I'm doing this part, I like to keep it, um, I like to keep my Salmon uniform. Mm -hmm. So you see this part? All right, let's let's let me pull it up. Right. So I like to keep a uniform. So this little flap over here on the side, I'm about to take that off. I'm about to square this all up. And why am I squaring it up? So I can have even pieces, right? So they can look uniform. You don't have to do this at home, but if you want it to be pretty. So this fillet was about two pounds. It's about two pounds. I know. It didn't look like a lot. Hey Terry, I miss you so much. How are you? Um So I took that part off, right? Y'all know what I'm gonna do with this, right? Do y'all know what I'm gonna do with this? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do with this. When I'm finished with that cauliflower, this is gonna be fried salmon. But I want you to know that when you do do this, you don't throw anything away. Except for that skin, all of this is something. Mm -hmm. This can be cooked down for salmon croquettes. You can make fried salmon from it. You can make salmon burgers, chop this up. You can do this for salmon and eggs. You ain't even got to do nothing to it. Just chop it up, chop it up, chop it up. Please do. I'm doing, um, I think I said it on my other page, but instead of Wing Wednesdays for the entire month of March, we're going to focus on Lent. I'm going to focus on vegan and vegetarian so i can't promise that everything every week will like all the menu will be uh vegan like this menu is but i know that i will have vegan and vegetarian with some options of adding salmon adding chicken to it maybe some scrimps i'm not sure but i just want us to focus on that daniel fast i want us to focus on lent and what that means so if you're fasting for lent if you're changing up your uh, dietary needs, because I don't say, um, 
I don't use the D word as in to lose weight. Because once you change your eating habits, once you change the way that you eat and the things that you eat, everything else will fall into place. So it's just about changing it. Don't think of it as, oh my God, I got to lose weight. Oh my God, I got to do this. No, you're just changing it up. And you can do it slowly and you can do it slowly and surely. All you do is incorporate things. You just incorporate, 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 switch this out for that, switch this out for that. Have a day where you don't eat any meat, where you eat raw or you eat just um, veggies. Because it doesn't have to be raw, you can cook it. But I'm just saying, just change it up a little bit. Today is a good day to start. I try to make things interesting. I try to make things uh, fun. Just because it's vegan doesn't mean it is void of flavor. Right? Just because everything that has a mama is the only thing that has flavor. You have all these herbs and seasonings and things that you can do to your food to enhance the flavor. And I'm not talking lorries. Please throw that shit away. I'm not talking accent. Please throw that shit away. I'm not talking anything that has MSG in it. Because that's salt. So the sodium, all it does is, is uh, numbs your taste buds. Think about when you eat a lot of salt. You're like, you can't taste anything else after that. All you're tasting is salt. So that's what MSG is. That's what um, accent is. Accent has MSG in it. Accent is MSG. And then you have Lawry's. Everything that's in Lawry's is in your cabinet. I guarantee you. Unless you're the only person. Unless you only buy Lawry's. Salt. Pepper. Paprika. Uh, onion powder. Garlic powder. All of that is in your cabinet. So you don't have to buy Lawry's. You don't have to buy any type of seasoning salt, brand, name brand, off brand. You, it's already in your cabinet. And then you dictate how much sodium is in it. You dictate how much salt is in it, right? Not somebody else. Not the FDA. You do. So, now I have this little pretty baby. Ain't she pretty? She pretty. She pretty. And I'm just going to start at the bigger end. That's probably not full. There we go. Boom. I wish I had a scale so I could see how much is it. But this is probably about five, six ounces. Right? Bam. And because I cheat a little bit, I just put it on top of it. So I can get about the same size. And then I'm looking at the rest. But once you figure it out, once you have... Um, Ooh, I don't like that part. I'm going to get that off there. The little fat. Fat part. I don't like that. Um, once you have all that said and done, I can fry my salmon in the skillet. I just like to put them up there so they can be uniform. All right? Bam and bam. And they're not the same size. One is bigger than the other. So let me just say, I got 15, 15. <laughs> Help me. I got four pieces. I got four pieces out of that. Um, now you can take that same, same piece of salmon and do what I did but you can make it any size you want like cut it in half if you cut it in half you got these nice nice thin slices pieces depending on what you're gonna do for it do with it but I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna make salmon nuggets So what if I put fried salmon on a menu for Friday for Lent? Not this Friday, but what about next Friday? Do a little salmon. So I got that all good. I'm so excited. I'm just gonna, let me turn this down some. Oh, nope, let's turn it up. Let's turn it off. We're going to move this over. And then I'm going to go ahead and 
cook this salmon. All I'm gonna do is pan roast it a little bit. A little uh, garlic oil in the pan, a little salt and pepper, and boom, I'm gonna be done with that. I am here at the good old cafe until six-ish, seven probably. The latest I'll be here is seven. But if you want to call and say, Nelly, I'm coming, but I'm running late. Or Nelly, I know I'm coming, but I'm getting off work. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. You guys have my number. It is not a secret. <laughs> That's my business line. All you have to do is pick up the phone. Nelly, cooking diva, diva. I'm coming. That's all you got to do. So I got this on low because I'm talking to y'all and I need to be paying attention and focused. I'm getting, when I tell you I'm going to smash these damn greens. So I guess I'm going to put the bowl together so you guys can see it. Since I am going to eat the cauliflower. Soul bowl. Because soul food can be vegan. Y'all know that, right? Soul food. Let me say it again, ladies and gentlemen. Soul food can be vegan. You have liquid smoke. Liquid smoke is a vegan option for you. I know. Why did I say liquid smoke? Because we put smoked neck bones, smoked turkey in our beans and our greens. So all you have to do is use smoke, liquid smoke or smoked paprika. Baby! Woo! That's smoked paprika. What's that? Uh, who is that do that? Ooh. Oh, the clumps. Oh, that's how I feel like. Oh, suck it to me. Like, one more time. Like, yes. Do it to me one more time. Like, bam, bam. Like, I freaking love it. It's fragrant. And it's going to give you that smokiness that you're looking for. Right? The smoke flavor that you're, um, that you're looking for. Ooh. I'm going to have to leave some monies for five of these. Because I like a way better. I couldn't find any damn containers. So I just got to get on Amazon. Y'all, I'm back. I'm back in full force. So I got to get all my equipment and everything back together. Got a couple things coming up. So excited. So excited. All right, let me ask you a question while you're here. So I made a vegetable paella. And it is an amazing dish. Amazing dish. Super easy to make, right? Right in the oven. But it does take a minute. But I was thinking for paella day, what if I did a Zoom and we made the paella together? Of course there will be wine involved. If anybody thinks that I'm ever going to do anything and it's not wine involved, you are sadly mistaken. So I was thinking of us doing paella together and maybe playing a few games, some quiz, you know, little trivia games and drink some wine and have a wine tasting. What do you think about that? What you think about that? Hmm. You know I'm trying to think of which side I want to put down first. Ugh. So, this little part, that little fat part, I hate that. It's disgusting. I thought I got it all off, but I didn't. So, I'm just going to do a little. Boom. Done. And then I'm going to put these in here. So I can put that in the fridge. I'm going to let that do, it, do what it do. I just wanted to get a little bit of color on it. I got it on low because I don't need it to look all crazy later. Let me put my salmon in here. Let's be realistic. I'm not going to get that. Because I forgot I had my cauliflower over there. Y'all, y'all just don't know. I'm so excited. I can't wait you guys can taste this food. There's a reason why I'm doing... While I'm focusing on vegan and vegetarian food, I want your opinion!
All right, so you guys know you've seen my post, right? What's up, boo? You've seen my post, right? So you know what is on the menu today. Starting at the top, I'm trying to remember what I have. The vegetable paella. So does any look, does anybody know like y'all in class or whatever? So paella is a Spanish dish, and it's it is a communal seafood Spanish dish. So it's cooked in a it's cooked in a um, it's cooked in a pot like that looks familiar looks like a wok, right? But the, it's called a paella dish because they do everything in there, cook all the rice and the veggies and put it all in there, and it does what it does. So I have a vegan a vegan paella uh, recipe. So I kind of love it. Not kind of. I really love it. It's full of veggies, artichokes, kalamata olives, onions, bell peppers, peas, roasted tomatoes, garbanzo beans. What else is in there? I make it with brown rice. Delish. Delish. Like we could definitely talk and make the dish because it's really not that. Once you get all that stuff together, you throw it in the oven. Right? You put that in the oven, you roast your artichokes and stuff in the oven while your paella is cooking because you're going to put broth in there. It's the bomb. So that's what I was thinking. Like, that'll be a fun paella day. Because, you know, there's a day for everything, right? Can you see the line? The line isn't there yet. It's where it's cooking. Like, it's showing you the the doneness of it. I prefer I prefer a good piece of salmon cooked medium. I can't stand it. It has to be so much fucking flavor in my salmon for my salmon to be um, with all the way done. But a nice fresh piece of salmon I love medium. Yeah, 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 yeah. So can you see what I'm talking about? Listen, can you see that? That line right there, right? So I'm going to put this back on there for about another five, three or four minutes. Not about five minutes because this is very, it's on, it's on low. I'm not messing around it. It is on low. So, oh, back to what's on the menu. So I have a vegan paella. So that's rice, artichokes, peas, black olives. Um, chickpeas, tomatoes, just flavor. And then you have your chickpeas and your green peas. You have all this protein in it. Delish. I made it with vegan raw. And then you have, what's second on the list? The soul bowl. It's pinto beans, collard greens, a little rice, roasted sweet potatoes, and then the fried cauliflower. I have a mushroom tomato bowl. Mushrooms, cucumbers, tomatoes, onions, vegan cheese. The mushrooms are gonna, is your burger. Is is the the burger part? So it's not meat. No meat in nothing. Oh, and then I have um, a dish that's ninety percent raw, ninety nine percent raw, which means none of the vegetables are cooked except for the sweet potatoes. Oh, so ninety eight percent is not cooked. So it is uh, roasted sweet potatoes, roasted white mushrooms. Uh, I have quinoa that's going to go with that. Sliced avocado, fresh sprouts. And some other stuff. I forgot. I forgot. But it's so good. Like, I can't wait for you guys to uh, come on through the salmon. And so what I'm looking at is, can you see? Can you see what I'm looking at? No, let's see. Damn it. I don't want to break it up. But I'm trying to show you that little line. Wait, it looks so delicious. Perfect, 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 perfect. No complaints out of your girl. No complaints out of your girl. I'm going to put my soul bowl together so we can all see that. We're going to kick it while I do that. I think I'm missing rice. 
So I need to do some rhymes for that. I need to do some rhymes for that. Hmm. Now, when y'all see me make rice, don't judge me. Because I will tell you, because I'm always honest. I'm not good at everything. I can't cook. I'm an excellent cook. I'm an excellent cook. Baby, I cannot fucking make rice. <laughs> gang, gang, I can't make rice. Rice is not on your girl's repertoire. Oh, I'm so excited, y'all. My damn sure gotta give her some money for these. So I got my salmon together. Put that on there. Put all those together. I'm going to make my rice and then I'm going to eat. So, that's what I was thinking for paella day. Let me get this over here. And let's bring a clean one. Let's get this knife over here. So, yes. So, yeah, I'm not a rice maker. I'm not that great at it. So, that's just it. It's what it is. It is what it is. And another thing about the paella, I know I'm going back. I'm all over the place. Another thing about the paella is that the way that it's cooked, it gets this uh, in the pan that it gets. So, it's like they tell you to cook it in a Dutch oven or a cast iron skillet, something nice and heavy that can withstand being in the oven, all that heat. It gets, it's called a scorat. A scorat? 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 Scorat, something like that. But what it is, it's the, the burnt rice on the bottom. So it's not burnt, like black, I can't eat it. It's like brown and crispy. And it's like a delicacy. It's like, oh, no, 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 I want that bottom. They want the bottom part of it. Like, that's the best part of the paella. So, I have it. Yeah, it's heavy. It's heavy. So I have it in this, right? I have it in this uh, cast iron Dutch oven. Mm. I don't even want to mix it up until it's time for me to portion it out. But I can't wait. I'm going to take pictures so you all can see it. And then maybe that is something. We'll talk about it. I could put that together. We can get the wine ordered. You guys will be good to go. We can do... Yeah, I would love to do that. I would love to do that. Oh, shit. I think I'm supposed to add these together. <laughs> Don't judge me. Don't judge me. I do everything from scratch, y'all. Everything. Sauces. Everything from scratch. So give me a break. If I can't make rice, I just can't fucking make rice. Hey, 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 boo. Um, so I'm talking directly to you, Nikita. I know that I have something due to you today. I love you. Did you get my, I did share, I shared the one menu with you that I was working on yesterday. Um, and that was just off the top of my head. But I'm still working on that. As you see that I'm working. I'm working, 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 working. I swear, I'm working. Yes, I don't know how to make rice. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. I don't know how to make rice. But if somebody else knows how to make it better than you, then let them make it. Minute success, they're great for me. <laughs> they're great for me. I make sauces from scratch so y'all can give me a break on the rice. I know you can give me a break on the rice, so I'll take that. And just to let y'all know, I'm drinking a little... Rosé, Dark Horse. Dark Horse Rosé. Dark Horse Rosé. So I think that if we do paella, we'll do a red and a white. Make, gotta do the Malbec. Gotta do Malbec. 
So the Malbec and the paella. Oh. And we can always add some seafood to it. If you guys want to do a seafood. But we can stick to the vegan. Why? Because it's still Lent. Because I, I want to say that it's National Paella Day is in the, like the last Monday in March. It could be April. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. All right, it's 3.20. I probably should go ahead and start putting all this stuff together. No telling when my client will say, Hey, Chanel, I'm on my way. And be like, oh my God, you on your way. But everything, oh, I'm so excited. As soon as this is done, I'm done. As in, all I have to do is put stuff together. Fry some cauliflower if you come in. Oh, I'm lying. I still got to cut up tomatoes and cucumbers for the salad. But that's easy, crazy. Well, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to start. I'm going to finish all this stuff up and plate up my clients, uh, box up my clients' food, the order that I have coming in in a minute. And I will holler at you all later. Have a great day. Inbox me if you have an idea of something you want me to maybe create while we're create online. And not on live. It's not going to be on live. We're going to cook together. I want to cook with you guys together on Zoom where you can ask me any questions if you have any, if anything is going on. So that'll be super duper. That's the one we said. Um, super duper fun. Because this will bubble over on this electrical induction burner and that's the last thing that we want i am at the d-loft cafe in oak park 13 710 west nine mile road until 6 37 o'clock if you want to pick something up if you want to go ahead and and place your order all you gotta do is call me text me hey nelly i'm gonna stop by i want to order da -da 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 -da. right and it's all yours if you get all five of them it's forty dollars otherwise they are priced per and you can add chicken or salmon to any of those meals if you want to if you are not going for the vegan if you're not going on for the daniel fast um this time around but you're looking for high protein and healthy all this high protein and healthy because vegan is high protein it's healthy there's no cheese there's no dairy there's none of that very 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 little sugar in any of the stuff that i made today so you don't have to worry about that at all. There was something else I wanted to tell you guys. Oh, I will create something for you. If what I am doing every week is not what you want, if it doesn't sound like you, or you just need something tailored specifically for you, then all you got to do is let me know. And then we'll work around that. I can create something specifically for you, for your family, for your loved ones, for your dietary needs all you have to do is tell me your allergies and all that this is what i'm going for chanel this is what i'm not going for chanel and we can and i'm gonna go from there all you gotta do i'm your girl you don't have to worry about all that you don't have to think about it that's my job is to think about it and all i do is think food literally all i do is think about food literally literally i was making Oh, when I was marinating the food, the chicken yesterday for brown stew chicken, I was like, ooh, this would be good, vegan, with some jackfruit. Boom. Because those flavors were like, yes, this will be a delicious, delicious dish. So, a... Oh, that ain't got nothing to do with me. A vegan brown stew chicken would be bomb. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Think about what I said about paella day. Get back with your girl. I'm going to start putting it out there. Let's see what we got. I would love to cook with you guys and hang out and do a little paella, chit-chat, drink some wine. That'll be fun. Last time, 13710 West Nine Mile Road at the d -Loft Cafe. That's where I'm at today until 7 o'clock. I sit right between Happy's and the nail salon. All right? So... Come see me. Place your order. Pick up all five. Limited. Because I cook to order. So I have limited. And everything else is going home. And probably eaten by the family. So. 
I want you guys to eat it all and not the boys at the crib. Not my brother and nephew and stepdad. I love you all. I appreciate that you always tune in when I pop on. I appreciate the questions. I appreciate the follow. Like, share this video. And if you're not following me, if you're not following the Cooking Diva, follow. If you're not following Wine Tastes by Chanel, follow. I'm on IG as the Cooking Diva. I'm on TikTok as the Cooking Diva. I am the Cooking Diva. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed and safe and happy first day of Lent, everybody.